Hi guys. I'm finally here in Spain uh, and it's great to be with you again. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, doing a lot of channeling this uh, coming year. Happy uh, 2021 for, uh, for those of you who um, have made it this far. Uh, glad to be with you. Um, I finally arrived in, uh, in Spain on uh, Three Kings at this, uh, this place called um, El, Cortijo de, uh, El Cortijo La Divina Pastora, which uh, of course means the, the farmhouse of uh, the Divine Shepherd. Um, and so all these synchronicities are, are very interesting. About a year ago, I had a very deep and transformative experience where I uh, aligned with the energy of the Divine Shepherd. And of course, it is. Um, it's of course the figure of uh, Christ as the Good Shepherd, but it's also the figure of Hermes. It's the archetype of, of the shepherd is, is that person who resides alone along with the animals on the edge of the village where it turns into wilderness. So where civilization begins and the road out of town um, begins, you'll find this person sitting there asking you if you actually know where you're going and if you have any idea of who you are. And so I find it very interesting. You can almost feel uh, you can almost feel his energy roaming around in these mountains. And I would just like to get uh, Hermes or Mercury um, to comment on what's going on with this situation I find myself in and what's going on with the January uh, energies in general. So um, let's hear um, from the Divine Shepherd about um, what's playing out right now. Humans, humans, humans. From the eternal realms, I join you, bringing forward news and auspices from on high down to you. You see, much was promised to you in earlier days, and much is now being delivered. And therefore, you might literally feel it as a bit much Collectively, there's a great strain put on the energies. It might seem like violence to you. It might seem chaotic, but it is an outburst of destructive creation. It is the energies of physical space moving in to mentally orchestrated realms. For so long, you thought that the idea of the end of days would mean the end of the world, but it is the end of time itself. Time has sped up and now it has become multifaceted. See, your perception of sequence can no longer hold your perception of consequence and occasion, your perception of right and wrong. None of these things no longer hold universally true for any of you. And so instead, we bring forward to you this recognition of the multi-layered manifold of existence as it has been built before you were in order for you to live in it now that you are. Many energies and intelligences, many great friends of you, many adversaries, many tricksters, many helpers, many angels have helped to structure the reality grid of where you now find yourself. 
and this reality grid. It is a type of framework within which you are able to register experience. Without this framework, you could not exist. But for a long time, the framework was created from collective consciousness. That is to say that in the perspective of the law of attraction, it took the accumulation, a collective intent to bring about changes or shifts in paradigms and worldviews in systems of apprehension. Now instead, you find that the ethers are fertile and ready to sprout new things and manifestations as soon as you reach your hand out to touch them. Do not be afraid to think negatively, but realize that negativity is pointing to a sense of dissatisfaction in your immediate experience. And this dissatisfaction can essentially only be overcome by its antidote, joy and contentment. Happiness is still there for you. Happiness is even closer as soon as you realize that you were brought here to this time, to this space where you hear this message, where you feel yourself moved and moving into an unknown. That you have hitherto approached with the apprehension of visual shapes and sizes, but that you are now approaching as a rolling wave of energy and sensation that you feel may swallow you up and pull you under. But no such thing is possible. In all the worlds, I climb the ladders from the darkest depths to the brightest heights. And in all the worlds, information is being moved. Things are being transmitted. Things are being shifted and reconnected. Things are coming together. See this dear one asking this question. We have activated him as well as many others. And we have offered him these names and signs that would resonate with his deepest soul pattern to bring him in alignment with a positive archetype. The archetypes They are independent of you as such. They will always have to be. And so do not necessarily imagine that you are approaching a paradise because your idea of paradise is also your idea of an existence without drama. And an existence without drama and conflict is an existence without development. In your innermost beings, you humans are attached to development and to progression. You are attached to stories and you enjoy the conflicts in these stories and the resolutions that these conflicts bring forward. It is an image of how wonderful life can actually be when you begin 
to enjoy the untundras and misunderstandings that happen all around you. See, no one knows what is going on and anyone who claims to have connected the dots, they are driving themselves mad by trying to draw the walls in a maze around them so they won't feel the agoraphobia of falling into free space, of free falling into open space and new and unknown experience. Know that you are being watched and watched over, taken care of and tended to by your guides and by the angels and species that have invested themselves in, br in bringing you to this place. You have the conscious choice of selecting how you want to dream up this existence. And you have the potential of directed action that decides how you want to recreate a shared world with other beings through those dreams you put forward. You are always part of a flock. You are never alone. You are always connected. And this connection, it consists of a type of harmonic resonance pattern that plays out in the eternal realms above the cycles of incarnations where all your oversouls retreat back into source. I bring you this message from the great and unmanifest father mother. And I promise you that much will be revealed to you in this year and what was once recognizable will seem to you strange as what was once ineffable becomes tangible. Reach out and touch the world and let it change you for you are loved by it and you are its child. I bring you this message from the great Mount Olympus and know that in your hearts the sanctity and the stillness of the mountain still resides. Be blessed human beings. My love and my wisdom to you. I am the God Hermes and I have shared with you this message in order to bring you into contact with yourselves. Blessings. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs>